All right, welcome everybody. Um, today we have Henrik, uh, the owner and creator of Henry Archer Watches. Um, we're really excited for a number of reasons to have this as part of the brand owner series. Um, first of which is that a Timepiece Monthly, one of the big things that we started out with when we, we launched in 2020 was really to become a conduit for the, the connection between the watch community and new brands and exciting brands that perhaps they wouldn't have come into contact with before. Um, so largely we are focused on micro brands, independent brands as a result of that. And the ultimate goal is to create that exposure and help micro brands um, basically get into contact with people just like us, you know, that we're watch enthusiasts, we enjoy collecting. Um, and Henry Archer is a brand that I think I came across in one of the micro brand groups, um, but, it has been incredibly well received by our community. Um, lots and lots of different models. We can talk a, a little bit about those um, in a moment, Henrik. Um, but just, you know, a fantastic look, very different, unique look, um, and something that we were really excited to bring on board. It's always nice to bring on something that's just stylistically, aesthetically, very, very different. And I can attest the build quality kind of blew us away as well. It really, everything stacked up from the materials and the movement and just the, the style of it. So um, today, Henrik Show, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks um, so much. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, um, happy to be here. Yeah, good, good to have you. And um, so we're just going to go through this as the brand owner series, and we're just going to go through a number of kind of questions, kind of hear a little bit about you and the brand, and, and then we'll delve into some exciting news that we've got to share as well. So in terms of personal background, Henrik, um, tell us about your your history. You know, before watches, what were you doing? Absolutely, yeah. And uh, thanks, Alex, for having me here. It's a uh, it's a real pleasure. And uh, yeah, looking forward to to this talk today here. So yeah, uh, well, uh, yeah, I'm Henrik, uh, the owner of uh, of Henry Archer. And uh, yeah, well, first off, um, I get the question often at times. You know, Henry Archer. Who's who's Henry Archer? And it's it's really my name in English. Uh, I I have a background uh, in uh, well in in many areas you could say. Um, first off, uh, I used to be a musician uh, way back 15 years ago. Uh, started out uh, with and uh, I had the name. Uh, I used my last name actually, uh, um, which was uh, uh, Scott. Uh, actually, it's named Scott in Danish. But uh, it had that unfortunate the pronunciation in English. It was uh, pronounced shot by many. And uh, so I figured this time around, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. So now it became uh, Henrik, uh, Henrik. It became Henry. And uh, Scott uh, means Archer in uh, Danish. So it became Henry Archer. So there you go. That's the name. Brilliant. And uh, other than uh, being a musician back in the day, I have also been um, working in the 3D animation industry for, uh, gosh, I think it's close to 15 or maybe even 16 years wow. and uh, yeah it's uh, it's been uh, been one one hell of a ride and it's uh, i've been doing um animations for many international brands and uh, that's that's been uh, kind of uh, animations for, for various products shoes um clothes uh industrial equipment you name it so any kind of you know animation you would see there or like video content that has not been made on a real camera but in, on the computer it's people like me Mm -hmm. who've, uh, who've been doing that and uh, yeah so I, I ran a company uh, for close to yeah 13 years before I, I, I uh, merged with another company where I'm also um, at right now so I'm still uh, um, working in, the, in that industry mm -hmm. and uh, so technically you could say I'm, I'm able to recreate any you know physical objects inside of a computer and that's really kind of you know what also um, uh, is is a skill I've utilized, you know, to to create this company and and the watches and all the crazy uh, creative visuals you you'll see um, from the brand itself. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Well, yeah, that was one of the first things I was going to say was that the imagery that we noticed, you know, when we saw it was so high impact, you know, we were, uh, instantly it jumps out off the screen. So um, that's that's really it. I had no idea that originally that you were doing all that in the background, but it just it looks fantastic. So yeah, thanks a lot. Well sure. done on that. So tell me in terms of that, you know, your kind of history, what was the inspiration to start a watch company? 
Yeah, like? well, uh, yeah, but I've, I've been at Watch Nerd all my life as as long for as long as I can remem- remember. Um, it 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 all started uh, at the age of uh, six years old when I got my my first Casio G Shock. It was this uh, yellow and pink uh, watch, uh, super colorful, and uh, I was just heartbroken the day that the the watch uh, uh, broke, and uh, yeah, had to get a new one, uh, of course. So that was my Christmas uh, wish for many years to come, you know, and and then finally got one more, and yeah, I mean, uh, I've I've been 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 a watch nerd all my life and um then you know in in my professional life uh, when doing 3d animations uh, you could say my 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 work consisted of you know visualizing uh, other companies uh, uh products and really you know uh, bring them to life and many products they they were visualized or animated and ad- advertisement material was was created um, really to promote products before they even existed. That's that's in many cases where I was was helping out companies. Um, so in the background, kind of, you know, I always had this uh, this wish and this dream of of you know creating my own product, um, similar to you know, and and help uh, help myself in that way, you could say, and and create something real uh, that also exists in the real world, so to say. Um, most of my work was, you know, created a computer, shown on a computer, maybe on on in the cinema as you know pre-roll ads or whatever, uh, and but but mostly online as well, you know. So it was all this virtual product. So I had this dream, you know, what if you could create a product in the computer that uh, actually would come out uh, as a real thing in the real world, and uh, that really like once that idea uh, uh, came to mind you know it just stuck and and uh, i had to i just had to do it uh, and and try it out and what better you know a uh, uh, way of of uh, of uh, uh, doing a product uh, than a watch really uh, being the watch nerd i am and and into to micro brands and 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 design so yeah that's how it re- all started and yeah then yeah. it took off from there yeah Pretty cool. So you've, of course, you've got that background in the kind of, you know, 3D visualization, which helps. Did, did you start out, you know, think about like how you started, did, you were into watches, you had that skill, but how did you, how did you kind of start out in the community? You know, cause I, I imagine that there's so many different working parts to creating a watch brand. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Not just the visualization. So like, how did that start? Did you have some connections in the industry or was it just kind of self started and you kind of figured it out as you went along? Yeah. Well, we, uh, I certainly took the hard way, I would say, or the hard route <laughs> or the tra- road less traveled, uh, you could say. So, so we actually started out um, primarily in the Danish market. Uh, and, and uh, it, it really started with uh, obviously like designing the, the watch uh, series. We, our first collection is named uh, Sequence, which means, which means uh, sequence in English. So it's kind of named after time, you could say in, 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 in some way. And um, that one was really designed from from ground up on a computer first of all. So I had the design on a computer. I knew what what we wanted to do in terms of design and how it should look. So now the difficult part came, you know, finding the right supplier and all that stuff. And that was like a long journey, uh, finding the right suppliers and, and and production partners to really get the quality uh, that 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 I wanted uh, to achieve. Um, not only you know in terms of the materials used, but also the material finish, uh, finishing as well, like getting the right, you know, mirror polish, the right, you know, uh, brushing effect as well, having the, you know, the straight brushing, not, you know, going in all kinds of directions. Um, uh, but also kind of, you know, uh, the, the production part that was able to kind of translate what was made uh, on the computer um, into a real product. Uh, so that that re- really required everything to be made from, from the ground up. So everything from uh, obviously the case and uh, the dial, but also the hands uh, are custom made, made on bespoke molds that, that we have done uh, down to the last detail, like the, the, the date uh, wheel, for instance, the, the font we use on that is the same as you'll see on the website, as you'll see on a dial, it's a, it's a custom font as well. So everything down to the last detail has been been made uh, custom and from the ground up. So that was like, uh, we spent a very long time kind of getting all those details right and doing the molds, doing the doing everything from ground up really. So, um, but yeah, it's I I I like to to think that that all adds up, you know, into uh, 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 something that's that you won't find uh, anywhere else uh, in terms of design. Yeah. Yeah, I think that detail comes across. You know, when I when I saw those initial visual, visualizations. 
um, you don't, like you say, the date wheel, you know, the, the little details, I think you, you just think that looks like a great watch. But then when you actually look in to all the different things, the dial, you know, all the things like the date wheel, the hand kit, the applied indices, even the crown and the way it's all put together. I think that that really speaks a lot because it all matches up. You know, the visualization, actually, like you said, when we got the watches in, sometimes that's not always the case. You know, you see the yeah. 3D rendering that really doesn't quite relate to what was built, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, a you know, the ceramic bezel insert is a completely different color or i've seen so many of the, those things happen so it's, it's really impressive yeah. that from your initial visualizations that you've built that you have that attention to detail it, it's um it really stacks up fantastically well so um that kind of leads us on to, to another reason we're here today which is is um something we're super excited to discuss which is our brand new collaboration piece which is going to be the nordless nordless is that how you pronounce yes. it yes yeah. yes yeah exactly yes. Nordless, uh, aqua. Yeah. so special color we've made a few adjustments together um i can't take any credit for the design or anything like that that's totally on you henrik um but do, do you want to it might be a good time we were talking there about you know your process and the design to, to production do you want to take us through a little bit of that kind of workflow yeah. and, and we can kind of look at this brand new model absolutely absolutely yeah so i'll just uh, i'll just kick off you know uh, sharing a, a little a, a few examples you know so so this is some of the earlier releases here uh, which this is based off on and 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 really you know everything starts in the computer and is 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 created inside the the computer so it really really allows uh, me to kind of you know uh, test out a bunch of different things you know before committing to to the the final version and but also you know one thing is the design another thing is also like what is the inspiration what universe is this watch born in right what is the inspiration behind this this watch and that's always kind of you know where the journey uh, for me starts you know thinking of where where does this this watch belong in the world right mm -hmm. or what universe is it, it does it come from so yeah. there's something uh, coming from the 3d animation industry obviously you know we we have different tools available to us than than doing regular video where you're kind of constrained to the real world you know whatever you can can do you know uh whereas in the three world of 3d visualization and animation it, like you can do anything like if you can dream it uh, dream it or you can think it you know it it can happen so uh so that's really where it it, it, it all starts kind of you know what's what's the inspiration and then and, and the universe this this piece is is born in so that's something that that early on also uh, i try and and, and work work really hard on on doing and this this is just a previous example of this crazy watch it's called the, the neon where you know yeah, yeah it's a uh, it's just a uh, uh, purple and blue neon colors all over the place and and yeah uh, craziness written all over it in the most uh, uh yeah uh, um uh yeah so so that's uh that's really kind of you know the the process and that process and that goes for for many watches uh, for for all the the, the watch uh, watches in the collection so in terms of the the aqua which is part of the the norlus series norlus means uh, northern lights by the way in danish mm -hmm. um is uh, i'll just take you take you a little bit behind the scenes here where all the magic uh, is done so this is within the 3d software that that i use to design the watches and i'll just uh, quickly open the the live view of uh, of the aqua here um and kind of show you show a little bit around on the model here so so this what we're looking at here yeah is the aqua in the in the turquoise uh, dial here where we um really have kind of you know uh, the dial really sets the watch apart i think uh, you know we have these aquamarine colors and and also it's yeah try to place it in the relevant setting here <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and um so in terms of you know the whole case here is actually a brand new uh, it it's a brand new uh, uh, size so the molds and everything has been done from ground up along with a few adjustments as well so the size of this uh, where the previous Nolus watches they were 42 millimeters in size this is uh, uh, 40 millimeters in size, which results in a lock to lock length of uh, 47.5 millimeters, which is, if you ask me, really a universal <laughs> kind of size, you could say, for, for many people, for most people. And uh, we've also adjusted the crown uh, shape as well, which now is round. 
with uh, uh, the uh, with the logo worked into it as well, which you can see here. So the, the crown is new as well. And uh, other than that, uh, the, the watch is uh, yeah, it's with all the bells and whistles. So the bezel here is equipped with uh, BT BTV9, which is uh, from uh, the Swiss uh, Superluminova yeah. um, as well. I'll just uh, go over here. Here's a little test of the <laughs> a virtual test of the luminous uh, grain here, where you can see the parts that are loomed. So the the bezel, of course, has uh, loomed the markers, and uh, yeah, we have uh, loomed in the indexes and uh, and hands as well here. So it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not only really trying to keep you know uh, other than you know having a simplistic design, but also keeping things functional as well. So you know it 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 can perform you know whenever you need to watch uh, or to, to view what what time it is or whatever uh, or time your your dives you can do that as well um so uh, so yeah and uh, obviously the watch as uh, as the previous notice uh, watches as well is uh, equipped with an automatic movement it's the miyota 9015 movement we're using the automatic one um uh, which is a, a high beat movement um and really if you ask me really offering the best uh, bang for the buck in, in its price range. And um, yeah, just, just a great movement, uh, well regulated out of the factory, really uh, uh, super accurate. Um, yeah, uh, just just a really good movement. Yeah. And um, yeah, Sapphire Crystal front and back. And uh, yeah, uh, it's with a six layer AR coding front and back as well. So the the, the, the case exhibition uh, back window, yeah, is even with AR coding just, you oh, know, that's... because why why not? <laughs> yeah, no, that's fantastic, Henry. Because, you know, yeah. if you think about it, this this is going out, it, you know, it's a limited edition as well. So only 100 units to be made, uh, numbered. So you stack up all the stuff like the, the beautiful dial, um, the applied indices, the sapphire crystal back and front, uh, the 1915 movement, uh, we also have an optional integrated bracelet that, that yes. people can pick up as well, which is is really cool, um, which is going to be a first as well. And I think with the the lug length, I think that's just perfect because that, I mean that would fit my wrist just beautifully because you've got those lovely kind of pronounced lugs that come out, but it, it with the forty mil size and it's not a thick bezel, so yeah. it's not gonna it's not gonna feel you know small. Is uh, is what I'm getting at. It's gonna it's gonna sit really really well on the wrist. I think it's gonna it's such yeah. a good proportions. The specs. There's a lot of watches that well certainly wouldn't have sapphire on the back, and certainly wouldn't have an AR on the on the back. But mm -hmm. there's a lot of watches that would retail about seven fifty in the marketplace with that approximate level of specification. Sometimes even less, and certainly not you know a limited edition run. Um, that's been kind of done with this level of detail. So I'm kind I was kind of blown away, you know, that that we, you know, can do this for for you know such an amazing and like you say, the bang for buck on this with the specification, the look, um, and the package that we can can put together is really incredible for the price. Really yeah, fantastic. yeah. Thank you know, thank you so much for working on this. Um, you know, it's it's been uh, amazing to see just this level of detail and the kind of, you know, how it all comes together. Um, and those, I think those uh, changes are, are really a cool thing as well with the round crown, um, the integrated bracelet, the different size, the color. Um, and there's going to be like a, a sunray dial, right? So you've got that beautiful yes. metallic. Um, it just adds that sort of enhanced. That's always my, my favorite, you know, I love blues. Yeah. Um, yes, and I love you know metallic sunray sunray dials. I also love the date window. I love the way that's cut out. It looks, you know, that was something that jumped out to me. I know it's a, a little detail, but I think yeah. it's the details that that really matter. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that's something that took a while also to get right uh, as yeah. well. Kind of find, finding the right you know uh, depth for the the actual uh, uh, dial uh, as well, uh, and and being able to achieve that effect where you kind of have this double uh, kind of chamfer going on. Uh, on it uh, yeah, yeah yeah it's it's noticeable you know that that detail is be beautifully done i know from the the other nordless range um that we've had in the neons and so on it's mm -hmm. it's uh it's really impressive to see so that's that's pretty fantastic um i suppose on that note then we can discuss a couple of the, the kind of early bird deals because this campaign this this product run is going to launch on monday so the 16th of may i believe yes yeah um 
and we have a few early bird deals. Um, so I'll, I'll kind of run through those for people. So the first 10 people, the t- first 10 backers or buyers of this new Aqua colorway are going to get a free watch roll from Henry Archer worth $79. Beautiful leather watch roll. I'll pop it up on screen here so you can see it. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, beautiful leather watch roll, a lot of added value there. Also, the first 20 backers or buyers are going to get an added $20 back from Timepiece Monthly in their digital wallet on the Timepiece Monthly website. So you can get $20 credit towards any future purchases. So those are a couple of the early bird deals. The rest of it is just, you know, you're going to have to, to go on and uh, and buy it and enjoy it. Um, and you'll have that option of the bracelet as well, which is, is really cool. I love that integrated integrated look. Um, so basically what I want to uh, move on to now is just kind of the, the next sort of step. So we'll launch on Monday. If you're a member of Timepiece Monthly on our membership plans, you can get up to 48 hours early access to that. So we're going to be sending out secret links um, for people on our VIP elite plan, which is $19.99 per month plan. We'll send out early bird links on Saturday for that. Um, so you can get early access. You can, if you want, you can kind of snap up the early bird deals. Um, and then you can also get 24 hours early access on our VIP plan, which is $9.99 a month. Um, over and above that, full launch will go live on Monday. So we'll get that out to everybody, get the links. And uh, it's just a free for all, unfortunately. Um, so, I, you know, as long you're going to keep a unit for me, aren't you, Henry? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, so that, that's great. Um, so outside of that, um, you know, I think we, we should probably outline kind of the, the process here, you know, um, from launch on the 16th, then we're going to be shutting down end of the month and then move into, into production, right? Um, do you, that's not my area of expertise. So do you want to talk through how that all, all works, Henrik? Yeah, absolutely. So, so right now, actually, the mold uh, is being made. I believe it will be finished next week. Actually, uh, the, the the new case mold uh, and and also hand mold. So that's really kind of that's usually what what takes a lot of time to 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 you know to make uh, uh, as well. And that will also be tested thoroughly, and and then that will create the basis actually for mass production of of the watch. And uh, from there on, it's just you know uh, a little bit of waiting time until uh, um, early uh, early Q3, um, and then the watch, uh, watches will be ready. Uh, and uh, we're doing it with our uh, uh, the same production pattern we've used for. Uh, pretty much all our watches as well so uh, yeah so super excited about that uh, as well yeah so yeah. so yeah production will run and then when they're ready we are basically we're offering free worldwide shipping um to everybody so we'll distribute out as soon as the the units are are made up and quality controlled and all that stuff um yeah. so that, that's that's brilliant so let's um let's just just wrap up there i think that's a good good nice succinct a uh, little coverage of, of the models that, that you guys do and the quality. And um, like I say, we, when we got them in, we were blown away and we sent them out to our members and they were blown away. And, um, you know, when you approached me and, and said, hey, why, why don't we do something a little bit different? Um, it was just an instant of no brainer. Yes. You know, I don't I don't have any expertise in the production line, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but I could I can see, you know, from the watches we had in um, just the, the quality and the value proposition of of those watches based on all the materials you're you're putting together in them the sapphire crystals and all that stuff we talked about earlier um and the movement and everything it's just it's really really impressive so i guess you know for now um you know i just just want to say thank you for joining me and, and taking me through it especially seeing that into that little kind of workflow that that you do yeah yeah yeah, it's uh, it's almost like magic. Uh, it's and it's 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 really really. Uh, I, I feel fortunate being being within this. Uh, you know, uh, being able to do this. And and thanks a lot for the opportunity as well. And uh, yeah, uh, look, really looking forward to to bringing the the aqua here uh, to life. So yeah, thanks a lot, Alex. And uh, yeah, You're talk very soon. welcome. Super right. excited to put this together. And uh, anybody watching, make sure you you sit on your computer uh, come Monday, or if you get early access. Good for you. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, we're going to pop this up um, on uh, our social and share it out. And you, you guys can all watch and uh, let us know if you have any questions. I suppose that's another another good thing. But super excited to launch this beautiful new collaboration piece between Timepiece Monthly, Watch Community, and uh, Henry Archer Watches. Thank you again, Henrik. Everybody yeah, thanks so much.
Have All a right. nice weekend. Take care. You too. Yeah, take care. Bye. bye.